fresh pot of tea and some of Grace's homemade shortbread. Oh, well, thanks anyway, but I'm afraid I can't stay. I... I have a patient in crisis. I'm gonna have to go. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, no need to apologize. We understand. I think charity should be all right till tomorrow. Well, I hope so. I mean, this whole hallucination thing is getting way out of hand. I mean, now she's seeing images of people who she thinks are Julian Crane and you fighting and doing other strange things together. It's so strange. I mean, you and Julian don't have any kind of relationship. I mean, you hardly even know each other. So why would she have these visions of the two of you together? Eve, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. You won't mention about Charity's hallucinations with Julian and me to TC, will you? It's just... That's ridiculous is what it is. I mean, how can Charity be psychic about something that never happened? Yeah, I mean, we all know you've never had any kind of relationship with Julian Crane. No, uh, we won't mention it, TC. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. Good night. Thanks, Eve. It was headquarters. A neighbor a few doors down from the book cafe called in to report people in the back alley and a light going on inside. Burglars? Uh, most likely it's just some kids. Well, probably they're from the school. If you don't mind, say I'm out tag along while you investigate. And if it is kids, maybe I can talk some sense into them. Mm -hmm. Be safe. Coach Russell, Chief Bennett, something going on? Yeah, we got a call about a possible break-in at the book cafe. I guess it was just you working late. Mm, not really. No? So not... it wasn't you who turned on the light? Well, uh, I was just dropping off that fool's car, you know, Whitney's date. I can't believe he got drunk. What? Who got drunk? Mark, Whitney's date. Oh, she didn't tell you? No, I haven't seen Whitney. I've been at the Bennett's. So what happened? Oh, uh, well, nothing too bad. I mean, just Mark got a little too wasted to drive, so I drove her home. Chad, I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's why I'm here. And I told him I'd drop off his car by the book cafe. So you just got here? Yeah. But the neighbor that called about the light it was about 20 minutes ago. Well, yeah. Well, I saw the light on when I drove up and I went inside to check it out. Found somebody there. Julian Crane. So yeah. what was he doing in there, Chad? Well, he said he was looking for a book, but, yo, I know he's got a woman in there. I mean, I saw her hiding behind something. Man's a pig. To go behind his wife's back like that. What kind of woman would be involved with a man like Julia? <laughs> well, I wouldn't know that. And like I said, she was hiding. I could only see her feet. I mean, she had some nice looking shoes on, that's all I could tell you. <laughs> well, anyway, I better get going. Good night, Chad. Hey, Chad. Thanks again. Right, sure. Hey, right. what are you doing, TC? Going inside. I'm gonna put Julia on the spot. Give him a little reminder that he's no better than anybody else. What was that? Who could that be? TC, come on. What? There's no need to go in there. I came down here on police business. And since there was no crime committed, well... What do you mean no crime? What about adultery? I'm just a cop. I'll leave that up to Father Lonnie. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess it's none of our business that Julian Crane is cheating on his wife with another woman. What you said about Ivy Crane? What? About how you feel sorry for. Yeah. You know, I'm starting to feel sorry for myself. You know, it's really gotta hurt that you can't trust the person that you're married to. I'm gonna go home and be with my wife. So, what was up at the book cafe? Kids playing a prank? No, it uh, wasn't kids. Who then? Well, it was uh, Julian Crane. Julian? What was he doing there? I guess he was looking for a book. What, he couldn't wait till the morning? I know, I bet he was buying a book of love poems for his wife, huh? <laughs>